Hey folks, before we dive into the gameplay, I wanted to share some initial thoughts. While I have reserved a full review for later, after I spent more time with the game, I must say my first impressions are quite favorable. Although the controls may not be as intuitive as one would hope, and there are a few bugs and glitches, like an NPC disappearing mid-quest, as you witness in this video, overall the game shows tremendous promise and seems to surpass its paresses. Stay tuned for more detailed insights once I've walked a few more hours of gameplay. In the meantime, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. <laughs> On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Febramon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty! Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment! Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our liege's reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate.
Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Are you the one, then? Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. 
There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Get a move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
the battle turn dire, keep in mind that you do have the cover. could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
break. Keep your distance, Arisa. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from? Anyway, I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of the Tar? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. If you find your strength flat, buy the curative or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as well? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We can but hope to solve it. Rid us of the like a word. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Pawns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. If we share our strengths, we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
around. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, tis worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've... Much more to offer. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before the skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time. Always a pleasure. Come, I'll lead the way. Pleased to make your acquaintance. plane at Arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ere long. Hey oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece, if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The hide can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Let us do everything in our power to render aid to those in need. Okay. 
Sir, Cardo is in need of our aid. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. to victory are myriad indeed. That strategy never would have occurred to me. Truly? Arisen, we ought to heal ourselves when we the chance. Of course. That was hard one. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. We have arrived.
We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Master, idle chatter shan't do our cause any good. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. In relation to that, ought we not add an archer to our ranks? I should be glad to fight alongside one. Archers are masters of ranged warfare after all. Pray, follow me. Over here, Master. So, this is Mel. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. The Arisen decides our path. We have but...
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on, and by some miracle, survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Someone must have the answers we seek. If we ask around, we might just find them. Do you think this one's really arisen? Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. 
If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Good. Diligence has borne fruit at last. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. We may benefit from pursuing the information. Returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. Exploiting our enemies' weakness. No one can defend themselves when grappled like this. I knew that I could count upon your strength arisen.
I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Let me get that. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with like There's still one of them. Regardless, we will not to fight for this trust. Look there. I espy another statue. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. Might we remove this hindrance somehow? I can attack if need be. I would gladly be of aid, Arisen. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one Arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Just yonder looks to... An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or it may have befallen it. Best we press on.
Is your pack slowing you down, Master? Pray, bear in mind that you can only carry so much by yourself. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Goblins, master! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! I can wait until the road ahead. with our next attack. Oh, well spotted. I'm sure my master would be astonished to learn this is here. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. Perchance you'd like to see it.
merely for it. Splendid. Rally! Reinforcements have come to aid our foe. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Let us keep this place in mind for when night falls. It is a pleasure to meet you.
have my gratitude, sir. It would seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the Sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. Well now! The road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling, if we could summon one. As a matter of fact, curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. My word. Never did I dream we would come upon such a rarity. How exciting. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. 
Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad source. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear?